been a great summer. Been a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities, and to have you here is just an answer to our prayers. So thank you for being here. It is our desire that you would have an absolutely excellent weekend. Just a chance to think, reflect, laugh, enjoy yourself, and please allow us to help you any way to make that happen. So as we go after it, I just uh, simply again, over and over again, want to say thank you. Bear Lake Bible Camp exists as a launching pad for individuals to make Jesus Christ known in their community, their country, and their world. And uh, when we wrote it, uh, there are certain things like it says for individuals, and it doesn't say for campers. Uh, because again, it goes into that all of us are part of ministry. And so as we do this, are we desirous to launch people? And I mean in a positive way. Um, I've often said to people, one of the things that Christian camping sometimes people like to hear is that this is the greatest week of my life I never ever want to leave here. And I said, I don't want that statement. What I want is I want a statement that says, I can't wait to get away from here. And people go, that's not very good customer relation talk. And I said, no, no, the idea is I can't wait, wait to leave here to go out and share what I've learned, how I've grown, and how God is opening doors for me that I never even saw before. Megan, you know, I love I've never been to a camp dinner that, that has live violin music before. It's a, it's a renaissance way, dinner. I'll have you do something else. Hey, you're done eating. At Bear Lake, we do a program called Junior Staffing. Um, which allows our campers to come back for a week and junior staff um, in a role like housekeeping or maintenance or kitchen um, and really it helps them learn um, about giving back and that they've been given so much as campers and stuff and then move towards not being a taker but being a giver. One of the things that oftentimes we say to young people that when I, as I've thought about it, it's kind of a nauseating statement. It sounds real good and we look at young people and we say you have great potential. Well, that's true, but what that statement really says is that someday God's going to use you, but you're not there yet. And instead, we need to be teaching young people that God desires to use you today. And so as, as kids get older and we keep talking this idea through, then the question is, how do we help them? to be able to give them an opportunity to move where they give of themselves. Where when kids get to the high school age, 14 years old, um, <clears throat> they, will, they can come to CIT, Christians in Training, and from that group we offer the opportunity for them to come and serve as a volunteer on what we call our junior staff. Uh, we have a week of camp called uh, Christians in Training. It's the first week of camp and they can come to that and get trained on a bunch of theological things and growing in the Christian faith, but also in, in like Christian worldview, but then also um, they get to learn like the junior staffing stuff. So then they can come back and either be, uh, starting at 14, they can be a junior staff. Um, and that's a really great program because we've seen a lot of kids just see, like amazing life transformation through that. And you know, going from these kids who, um, you know, have no idea what they're doing and are just, you know, getting in trouble all the time to by the time they're done with the program, um, you know, are, are just amazing uh, leaders. And again, what's happening is those people are now being given an opportunity to give themselves. And they are pouring into others. A lot of people have come to me and said, well, that, come on, Bob, that's just great terminology. You get, you get eight kids in there doing dishes that you're not paying. And you know, and you get these kids clean, and, and you don't have to pay them. And and I look and I laugh, and I say, you know what? I could probably hire five or six senior staffers, college age, 
and they could pretty much do the job that these 20 kids do because of work ethics and everything else. But from there, those kids, they get an opportunity to start to give of themselves. And when I talk to them at our CIT program and we talk about junior staffing, I always ask the question, how many of you have been on junior staff at Bear Lake Bible Camp? And the hands go up and I say, how many of you would say that is one of, or if not, your favorite week of being at Bear Lake Bible Camp? And it's about 70, 75% of the hands go up. And I really believe it's because we're fulfilling a need where people have to feel that they're valued and they're doing something that's important. Camp, camping specifically as a ministry is important because there's nothing quite like it right now in the States. And that might be said in, in, in ignorance. Like most things could be, I guess, if it's close to a blanket statement, it would be at risk of being wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, in my opinion, good, good. Yeah, so in terms of being an opinion, not a fact, but an opinion, I think that camp is so unique from the day-to-day -day experiences of where the majority of Americans live and experience. Our core purpose statement is to fulfill the Great Commission by providing escape for people from the daily rigors to a place of excellent programs, peoples, and facilities. Camp is a place that uh, young people that are struggling, who may not even, who may be intimidated to walk into a church door or intimidated to go to some place, they'll come to a, a camp where it's fun. And I'm going and it's just, man, the, the, the kids I meet, I make friends, I, I get to do zip lines, I get to do climbing walls, I get to do mini golf, I get to do all of these things. And we laugh and we just have a lot of fun. Boy, I don't care quite how I'm hurting, it just sounds like a place that I can go and go, and you dream about. My, my prayer when it came here 29 years ago, 28 years ago, Psalm 23, that Bear Lake Bible Camp could be green pastures and still waters. And people look at me and say, hey, wait a minute, you run the camp for kids. It's the summertime, there's probably every piece of grass you have has been trampled on is now brown. If there's any still water, it's not when those kids are there because they've stirred up everything. But the concept of it is, is that a place that people can come and find rest. Even in the course of busy, busy things, that there, it's like a sheep won't lay down unless it feels that peace. A sheep won't drink from bubbly waters because of the nose and all of this stuff. And so this beautiful picture that could we see lives transformed because we provide green pastures and still waters. I've watched kids come in that are very troubled, got lots of struggles. Uh, I've had kids that seems like they've been in my office every day the whole week that they were there. You know, I'm sorry, you can't do that. No, uh-uh, no. And kids come at the last day and put their arms around me and say, thank you, this has been the best week of my life. And I go, well, not sure that you made this the best week of my life, but it's, but the transformation that happens is that it's, it's like what, what's the typical young person that comes to us? There's more turmoil, there's more unanswered questions, there's more unsettledness than ever before in the history of the world. And I think that when kids come here, it's almost like they, they go, it's okay. And so in the process of that, in the face of busy stuff happening at camp, there's a peacefulness that comes that a kid can think more clearly, they can see more clearly, and they are more open to changes happening in their life. This place was put together by humble uh, blue collar and a handful of white collar folks that love the Lord Jesus. That's what they had in common, their passion for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey y'all, Fast Five. From Bear Lake. <laughs> From Bear Lake.
<laughs> Number one, they are all about discipleship. Um, when we talked to all the staff, we interviewed staff, staff we didn't have on camera, that was kind of what everybody came back to, is that from the, the campers through junior staff, senior staff, interns, full-time staff, um, everybody is on a discipleship path while they're there. And they're, they're really about being a launching point. Um, I think Bob said that like 17 times. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Bobism, I would say. But uh, they want to, to make sure that they are pouring into people and, and creating you know, followers of Christ and, and disciples. Yeah, and people who are like on stepping stones to find their perfect role in larger community. Yeah. yeah. Two, we also talked a lot at Bear Lake about relationships and just bringing people together. And it really taught us a lot about camp is a place for people to be together. And that seems so simple, but in a world where people are moving so quickly past each other and away from each other and not, you know, like looking each other in the eye, it's just, bringing people together is such a significant thing to add to the universe. So we're learning to love that more. Yeah. And I mean, Bob really encapsulates the relationship point of it where, you know, whatever he's doing, he's willing to, to sit down have a conversation with you. I think everybody at Bear Lake is very good at that. Making sure that people feel visible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three. Number three. We love the way they do family camp. Um, we That was like what we were there for that week. We got to, to do some prep and then volunteer during their fall family camp. Late summer family camp. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Their family camp. And uh it's, it's something where families come back year after year. Like, obviously, it's something powerful because it's it's really, you know, something that, that these families treasure. We hadn't thought about, well, I hadn't thought about family camp as such a valuable aspect of camp ministry before. And now I do. Yeah. Because of Bear Lake. Number four. We, this is a weird thing to say, but... The best thing about Bear Lake is that everyone is on the bus. Like, everybody knows why they're there, what's happening. I mean, you know, every camp has its dis disorganization and, like, the struggle just to make stuff happen. But as far as the big picture goes and, like, what's really happening and what they're really there for, like, everybody is on board. Yeah, they're bought in. Yeah, everybody on their staff has a heart for that ministry and it's just like overflowing every time they open their mouths. They also all know the mission statement really Pretty well. well. Yeah. yeah. It's a good mission statement. Yeah. So. Number five, Bob Tissett and Nancy Tissett retire today, uh, May 31st, 2018, 2018. also Sarah's 25th birthday. No. But. <laughs> Um, <laughs> congratulations on your retirement. Um, they've been there for 28 years, 29 years now. Um, yeah. yeah, 29 years, 29 summers. And, uh, it was really evident while we were there, the, the impact that they've had on this place. And I mean, we, we kind of became fans of Bob a couple of years ago at a 3CA conference and it was just, and then we stalked him all the way to Bear Lake. That's so. not creepy. Congratulations. Yeah. You're awesome. And you've been a mentor to so many people, including us. So there's your not so fast five on Bear Lake. Enjoy this next video thing. Did you know we do Easter eggs at the end of every video? Did you? We're basically Marvel. Like, same quality, I think, of movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm.